So in this video, we take this WL Toys out for a speed run. I've not had this thing out for quite some time, so it's been good to dust it off and get it back out there. That's what she said. That's what who said. I never know. We put this Zop 1500 milliamp hour 40C up against this CNHL 1500 milliamp hour 100C. And I show you why C rating does actually matter. Even if people on Facebook will tell you that the C rating doesn't matter. And as a bit of a bonus, we smoke the ESC. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we are taking finally this WL Toys out, gonna to give it its speed run on 3S. I've had this for some time, I can't remember the model number of it, but I've had this for some time and it is, I think, one of the best WL Toys you can get and it's, it's kind of forgotten about, no one talks about it. I've definitely seen these at under $100, I don't know what they are now. I'll put a little picture on the screen now if I can find a price for them, but. Mine I've converted to brushless, it's got a 3,900 kV, it's a 3650, so 540 can size. Way over the top with a 25 kilo servo running a Dumbo RC. And it was running a matched ESC that comes with that motor. Uh, we'll talk about that a little more in a minute. Big bore ZD racing shocks, front and rear. Now, they're a little bit big, but they provide really nice damping and then underneath that's the chassis you might have seen there's a new wl toys that's coming out i've got one coming for review it looks a little bit like uh, traxxas max it's just one of these but it's got oil shocks and a different body these wheels are off of a tamiya gf01 i want to say the new wl toys that's coming out is just one of these they come brushed they're brushed as stock i really like the body style on this i think it's really nice hard sort of lexan there and then you've got a hard top there Decent. So let's talk about batteries. I've got this Zop Power 40C 1500 milliamp hour, and I've got this CNHL 1500 milliamp hour 100C. I bought these quite some time ago. You can see there's a bit of difference there in uh, the size. And I ran them on. I can't remember what I tried to run them on, but I was not impressed with their performance. For a 3S battery, they just, I think, I, I mean, it might have been my um, 144001. It just didn't work. They just had like really bad performance so i then bought some of these i'm pretty sure with, i'm pretty sure with one of these i've got around 90 mile an hour with one of my um i think it's my 124019 so i thought let's dig this thing out let's take the zop power or slop power as i prefer to call it and let's put it up against the cnhl i have a lot of cnhl batteries now they just perform really really well this isn't a technical test of the batteries i'm not measuring resistance and stuff like that i'm literally gonna plug them in do a speed run and see what the difference is. And you'll notice that the ESC <laughs> is a little bit worse for wear. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, I did put this under a lot of loads. And then when it did finally smoke, I then carried on to apply throttle just for, you know, a bit more of a smoke show than we first got. It's rated to 60 amps. That motor with a 3S LiPo is definitely pulling more than 60 amps. So if you put it under too much load like we did, you've got to expect it to, uh, not really do that well. In my experience, these little cheap 60 amp ESCs, they're not that bad, but just be aware if you do overload them, they will go up in smoke. Not quite as bad as this half the time because that was me just pushing it a little bit further. Anyway, let's go and see how this done on 3S. First run with the Zot Power, second run with the CNHL. So 40C versus 100, and this is gonna show you why a good quality battery and C rating is actually important. Right then, have we got satellites? Yes, we have. So slop power battery first, 3S. 34 mile an hour on 2S. Sounds like the air ambulance going out. Maybe they think I'm gonna have a bit of a crash here, <laughs> getting ready for me. Anyway, here we go. Uh, yeah, here we go, slop power. 1500 milliamp hour, 40C. Well, uh, <laughs> brakes are sharp. What did the, uh, the little Zop get then? 55. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, what a disaster. 3S, couldn't beat the 2S speed. Let's give it another chance, shall we? Remember not to hit the brakes this time. <laughs> They're very sharp. Oh, 
<laughs> Has it got enough punch to do a wheelie? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Right then. Last go with us all. Oh, 37 mile an hour. So we've beaten the 2S run. <laughs> right. Let's switch to CNHL and see if there's a difference. So, um... <laughs> I tested this battery in the battery tray without putting the cover on and because the cover's got quite a lip on it, that wouldn't go in. But I think we might be all right. I've got a little bit of a cable tie or zip tie on there. That should hold it in for a run. Just so you can see I was being fair to the uh, slop power. You can see there that, hang on. So they're all four volts now after a few passes and it shows you there 12 volts still left in that. So it was charged. No cheating going on here. Right, hopefully that battery will stay in for this run. I expect I could modify the tray to get it to fit, but... We all know that cable ties fix everything. Right, 37 mile an hour with the old ZOP 40C. This is 100C, same milliamp hour, 1500. There's the difference. That wasn't full throttle. So in all fairness, the other battery is only 40C, but I mean, I can't, that's half. <laughs> I can't get full throttle at all. It is night and day, the difference between these LiPos. No, not gonna be able to do it. Not gonna be able to do it. Not without seriously modifying this thing. So that was 41 mile an hour. Oh, what's happened to me app? So that was 41 mile an hour and I was half throttle. 3S, same 3S. So same amount of cells, 1500 milliamp hour, 100C versus 40C. And I don't want to make any assumptions, but I can guarantee if that ZOP power was 100C as well, we'd still not be getting this performance. That is the difference between a quality battery and, yeah, a questionable one. <laughs> that was a 40 mile an hour wheelie. I'm determined to get more than 40 out of it. We need to go slow in, really slow on the throttle, see if we can do it. Let's go for 45, come on. Oh, it's so sketchy. Oh dear. <laughs> Is that my GPS? Whoa! Uh-oh, battery's out. Well, at least my GPS stayed in one piece this time. 42, <laughs> that'll do. Right, that looked like it was going to do a standing back flip. Should we give it a try? Here we go. Oh, nearly. I reckon we could do it, you know. Come on, little WL toy, standing backflip. Uh-oh, oh. uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> She's gone. Oh. I guess the ESC <laughs> didn't want to do a standing backflip. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's given up. Any flames today? Here we go. Boom. I don't want to destroy my battery. At least we know the battery performs well. 